Good morning and welcome to Crochet with Nana Rosanna. I'm Rosanna and today is July 1st. Happy Canada Day uh, here in Canada. Uh, Canada Day I, it's the day that uh, we became Canada and separated from uh, England. We're still with England but uh, we are Canadian so happy Canada today and we have a long weekend and all the stores are closed today so we'll just be uh, sitting at home and relaxing having family over I believe my parents are going to come tonight I haven't really talked to her yet it is very early it's 6 15 in the morning and uh, I just got out of bed I have not exercised yet I thought I better get this done I usually make my videos the day before but uh, yesterday I got to spend the day with my daughter and granddaughter. We went and saw The Little Mermaid. It was such a beautiful movie. We really enjoyed it. And then we just did a little bit of shopping. Went to uh, Lens Mills, but the sales weren't that great for yarn. My daughter got a few zippers and that's about it. So that was my Friday. Um, let you know about my mom. She's home now. She uh, went in the hospital last Friday while I was getting my CAT scan done. Her blood pressure dropped to 40-something over whatever, and um, that's near death. So uh, they rushed her in, and they found out that she had an infection. So they were treating that, and they were treating her low blood pressure. And then one of her veins exploded where they were putting in the uh, epivephrin. I'm not sure how to pronounce it exactly, uh, to bring her heart uh, and her blood pulse up. And um, she got a blood clot, so she had a long week in the hospital. She is home now. She got home yesterday, yesterday morning, I believe. And um, she's relaxing. My aunt is here from Florida, so um, she's looking after her wonderfully. Oh, excuse me. I can't even speak it so early in the morning. And um, so hopefully uh, she'll be up to coming today, if not maybe Monday on the long weekend. She can come over for a barbecue. So that's my mom. I had my CAT scan on Friday. I got a call midweek and everything is fine. This little bump, it's just a bit of extra bone. And um, I had a CAT scan 10 years ago and uh, my doctor said not to worry. It hasn't grown that much. It's nothing important. It's, it's not cancer. It's, you know, so I just have a little bump on my head and I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm very happy about that. So that's life. I'm going to make it short because um, if we're going to have people over, I'll have to decide. I think I'm going to do ribs on the barbecue today. I love ribs. So that was um, my week. Very busy again. Not much crocheting done. Not much knitting done. Um, going to the hospital every day and spending my uh, Friday with my uh, daughter and granddaughter. So uh and baseball games got canceled, but we had parties and we went to one of the girls' houses, Young, and um, she's from Korea and she made some amazing Korean food for us. We had ribs and chicken and salads and unbelievable. You know, one of the best parties that I've been to for baseball because it's just trying different foods and everything. It's wonderful. And I, she um, actually... Uh, told me where the store is, where she bought, buys a lot of these things. So I'm going to go over there and see if I, I can replicate her delicious uh, food. And what else happened this week? I think that's it. Just um, two nights I just sat there and I didn't even crochet, which is so unusual for me. I think I'm just, the emotions going up and down with my mom. I'm just physically and mentally exhausted, but I'm trying to look after myself. I am doing the little things that make me happy, like going to play baseball, seeing my granddaughter. So um, not much crocheting done. I did um, do a few things, as usual. I can't just not crochet, but a couple nights I just didn't at all. And that's very unusual for me just to sit and watch a sports game without having something in my hands to do. So, so we can start with our whips. I... Um, I have tenderness in my leg from doing so much uh, walking on the treadmill. So I missed a couple days and I haven't done it today. So I don't have that many squares from the treadmill, but I did a few of them. And um, I'll be doing a couple more today. And these go in lap gans, scrap gans that I make. So that's my first whip. And 
My second whip is non-yarny. It's my paint by number that I do in the mornings when I'm just relaxing, having coffee, waiting for my hubby to get out of bed. So that's what it's supposed to look like. Oh, there's terrible glare. Let's see. There we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. And I actually have completed quite a bit of it. So, and that's it right there. So I'm enjoying doing this. The uh, numbers and areas to paint are very, very tiny on this one. I blow it. It's, yeah, it's getting blown out. You can't see. So I am enjoying this and um, I've progressed really quickly on that uh, paint by number. I'm not sure why. And my racetrack for my grandson for his birthday in July, which it is. Um, I am going to, that is my priority this long weekend. Whenever I get a chance, I'm going to work on it. It's um, got so many rounds now. It takes an hour and a half to get just uh, through one round of single crochets around the blanket. So it's taking a while, but I'm really enjoying it a little bit at a time. So it doesn't hurt the wrists. And um, I'm excited to uh, give it to him for his uh, second birthday. My hexagon cardi, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I completed the sec second hexagon and I've just got it put together with uh, stitch markers. So there it is there. It looks really tiny. It's because I didn't want my sleeves to be too big this time. So I do have enough room under the arms. So what I'm going to do is in the front and back, I'm going to, Join it with a continuous join. Basically go down one side and come back and continuous join front and back. And then that'll be wide enough. And then I will just go around the sleeves to make them longer and go around the bottom. I haven't even uh, done the back yet. So that's coming along really well. I really like it. It's such a great, great, great pattern just to do a hexagon to make a sweater. So I'm really pleased with that. And hopefully this will get done. But it's the beginning of the month, so I'll be having all my cows with my marquee blanket that I do and um, Judy's uh, flower for the month to make a shawl for donations. So a little bit at a time, and uh, we'll see how far the hexagon sweater gets this week. And my knitted blanket, I did not touch it. Uh, like I said, that blanket is going to take forever. So until I have some progress, I'm not even going to bring it up on uh, to show you. So the things, oh, one more whip I'm working on. I'm working on another, I started another uh, washcloth and it is by, uh, let me see here. Where did I put it? Knits and Bits and it's a simple washcloth and I can whip up a washcloth in a day if I'm, you know, doing it uh, slowly. But I, I'm doing these cloths because, first of all, I love the way the knit cloths are. <clears throat> excuse me, and um, I'm practicing my knitting. And this is made out of 100% cotton. It's called creme, creme de la creme. I got this on a clearance sale, so I'm not even sure if uh, they still make this color, if they still make this yarn. It's been up there for a long, long time. So that's my first knitting whip. So like I say, I always start new things and lots of whips. So I think that's it for the whips and we can move on to the um, the finished items. Like I said, not too many finished items. Quick video today so I can go downstairs and exercise. I'm going to just walk slowly today because my leg's a little sore. And um, we can start with my finished items. Um, I got a request. My daughter and uh, granddaughter were flipping through... I think they watch a lot of TikTok together. My daughter set it up so it's only certain items that my, my granddaughter can watch. And for some reason, my granddaughter found this and she goes, Nana, can you make it for me? So I did. This is called The Little Dino and it's by Mary Makes and it's a YouTube uh, tutorial. So it's so, so cute and I know why she wanted to... Uh, have it done. So I just used a uh, blanket, a uh, Bernat blanket. And those are the only two colors I had. So that's what she got. And the way she designs her head is just beautiful. And the little legs. And it does sit on its own on an angle. So uh, I really like that. So I forgot to bring this to her yesterday because I took some pictures to uh, show you today. But uh, this is it. 
in person. I'm really pleased with it. It is so cute. Um, I believe the girl designed this after another pattern that she saw. And um, you can make huge dinos. But uh, I like the size and uh, Paige is going to be excited to receive it this weekend. So that's my first completed item. And I did, haven't sewn in the ends, I did complete the uh, washcloth. So it hasn't been sewn in or blocked or anything yet. So uh, that's my one completed item. So I'll sew in the ends sometime today, hopefully. And that's knit, knitting and it is the simple dishcloth. And then my final, let me just say, um, I did work a lot on my um, book cover inspiration blanket, which I put out a video yesterday for. So um, the, bank, the blanket turned out really well. I don't have it down here with me. I already brought it upstairs in the donation pile, but take a look at it. I'm so, if it's a retro uh, square, I'll put a picture up here if I uh, remember. And I was so pleased with that. And um if you haven't seen that video, Carlotta, one of our subscribers, made an amazing blanket to go so perfectly with the book. And I'll put a picture of it up here. But um, her work is just spectacular. I just love it. And she also made a basket, too. So uh, good on you, Carlotta. It is just spectacular. I love this blanket. So I did finish one blanket. I sewed in all my ends, except for the ones that I made this week of all my squares that I do on my treadmill. So as you know, sewing in ends takes a lot of time. So I think I did that one evening nonstop and I've got enough to make another blanket. It's just to find the time to put it together. But I did make one and I, my disaster here, I joined it with, uh, what's the color here? charcoal pound of love and it's just a ball I had upstairs uh, all my blankets and all my yarn are upstairs I don't go out and buy anything new unless I don't have a color similar to a project that I'm making so this is the blanket here and it's just all the granny squares and I joined it with the uh, continuous uh, join and you can find a tutorial on this on Heather the Crochet Witch's blanket. Um, sorry, Heather the Crochet's Witch channel. And I will link the channel below for you. So I'm really pleased with this. I thought this would be great. I'm trying to um, join them with different colors. So if they happen to go to the same seniors home, it won't get lost in the in the wash and they'll know which uh, one belongs to whom. So just colors. And joining it takes probably about two or three hours if you would do it uh, straight. But the good thing is you only have an end at the beginning and at the end to sew in nothing in between. So I'm really happy. I love these blankets and um, hopefully someone will enjoy it at the seniors home. And I believe that's it for today. So I'd like to say happy Canada Day to everyone in Canada and happy 4th of July to all my uh, U.S. friends here. Um, 4th of July. I'm not sure if you have this long weekend or if you take the day off, the actual 4th of July off. So have a wonderful 4th of July. I believe it's, is it Independence Day, I believe. So we're kind of celebrating the same things at the same time. So I hope everyone has a wonderful whip weekend and you get your whips done that you want to and just go outside, enjoy life and um, drink lots of water. That's the one thing we have to drink lots of water. Um, we are still smoky here from the forest fires and I know it's going down into the States. So um, if you have breathing problems, don't go outside. I've been staying inside a lot. So uh, that's it. So hopefully it won't rain and we won't get too smoky and we'll be able to enjoy the beautiful summer weather. Bye for now.